start online with Miss Wilson. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Xing part now. I'm going to still not do anything with this. I want to do my Xing. And so notice with my marker, I'm using the side. Well, I'm gonna use the tip when I outline. And I'm just gonna go ahead and outline all of my lines first. just like this. This will make it easier so that when I'm coloring them in, it'll give me a nice guide. And yes, you're gonna color them in. Do you have to use a Sharpie? No. If you don't have a Sharpie, another, um, any Crayola outline marker would work, a um, Mr. Sketch. If you don't have any markers, a black crayon would work. And I am gonna ask that you do use black just simply because um, of what we're gonna do with the other parts of it. We wanna make the other part kind of stand out. And so we wanna make sure that we're doing everything the right way. Outlining very carefully so I don't have to do a whole lot of erasing later on. And you do not have to have that circle in there. That's just for fun. And if you do it the first time and you don't like it, you know what? Start all over again. So I am going to, there we go. That's done. I do want to go ahead and outline this too, just so when I'm coloring around it, I don't get my marker inside. Now comes the long part. And this part may take a couple days. It's totally fine. You don't have to finish it all at once. In art class, you wouldn't have finished it all at once. You would have started one day and you would have worked on it the next day um, as well. So I'm gonna start coloring in. I'm gonna have an extra page underneath here because I don't wanna get it on my piece of poster board that I have down here that serves as my background because this is my kitchen table. So I would color all of these in. Notice I'm using the side of the marker when I'm coloring it in. It's a little bit satisfying when you do it. So if I'm coloring in, it's kind of satisfying, even the sound. So I'm only coloring the ones in that have the X's. If you want to color in the other ones, and leave the X's so you can erase them, that's okay. Just pick one and stick with it so that you are coloring one or the other. Done. Okay, so for the magic of video, we just skipped me coloring this whole part. And I'm noticing that when I was coloring, I was a little bit messy. In some areas, I'm a little neater. In some areas, I'm not. So you might want to go back in and sharpen up your in-between lines to make it, to clean it up a little bit and make it look really, really sharp. Like that. Like here, it's a little messy. And that just sharpens them up. Any little mistakes you may have gotten out of the line a little bit, you can just get rid of by sharpening up your in-between lines. Looks much cleaner now. Up here I need it, right down the middle. Over here I need it. That's just a little trick if you want yours to look really clean. Sharp. And do the other way, and then we'll be ready to move on. And you don't have to sharpen them all up, just the ones that you notice are a little not sharp. Like right here can be sharpened, this area. Right 
right there. Okay, right here, down here, really. This, I don't know what I did here. Somehow I didn't even get it all colored. Now I want you to see something else. If you are using a Sharpie, it is so important to have a placemat underneath because otherwise this is gonna end up on your table. So I'm just letting you know that is super important, not just for the edges so you can scoot it over and color an edge in. I didn't get the edge there very well. Um, then it's not just for that, it is for Sharpie bleeding through. Other markers, not so important because they aren't permanent. So if you get this much done, you're done for today. You don't have to get this much done today. If you wanna get part of it done and work on the other part tomorrow, you totally can. But you can kind of see how it's kind of a different kind of checkerboard. It's kind of fun. I enjoy making these a whole lot more than the straight line ones we had to learn last year, but you have to learn how to do those first before you can do these.